Lin Loud Sr., also known as my dad. I love hanging out with the guy, but we're pretty different, so we've had a hard time finding that one thing we both like doing. We've tried doing stuff that I'm into, like Ace Savvy. Come on, what I Jack! Um, son, my costume's a little snug. Don't worry, you're looking great. Now let's deal out some justice. We've also tried stuff Dad's into, like cooking. How's that batter coming, son? Good, just about to mix it up. Whoa! We've even tried doing new stuff together, but that didn't work out either. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh, I, I love, love this, this show. show. <gasps> you do? I had no idea. Okay, on three, say your favorite team. One, two, three. The, the Orange Iguanas. <gasps> when we discovered that Legends was doing a special father-son episode, we knew we had to get on it. So we sent in an amazing five-hour submission tape. <laughs> and sealed the deal with a tray of Dad's lasagna. And guess what? It totally worked! We're going to be on the show! All aboard, Orange Iguanas! Next stop, Orlando! Whoa! Awesome costume, Dad! Orange Iguana put yours on, too. Now let's get a move on. I have a feeling it's gonna take a while to get through airport security. Hey, Dad! I think we need a different cart. This one's got a leak. <laughs> Our zucchini me! <laughs> Did you get it, Lola? Like, are you kidding me? But I said, zucchini me? <laughs> uh, I get it. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the pasta aisle. Attention shoppers, please excuse this Lynn interruption. And settle in for some Luann ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the store for a loaf of bread. bread. Bought a can, can of beans, beans instead. instead. <laughs> Just be glad you missed the song at the meat counter. <sighs> I didn't. Hey, Dad, what did the left eye say to the right eye? Between you and me, something smells. <laughs> <laughs> because of the nose. <laughs> you okay back there, sweetie? You seem a little quiet. I'm fine. Do you need help getting out of your seatbelt, Lola? I can get it myself. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I need help. Look what came in the mail! The Fairway Golf University course catalog! Oh, what courses should I take, Dad? Biochemistry and bogeys, or sand traps and sociology? Ooh, yikes. Both textbooks are a hundred bucks. <laughs> Which shirt should I wear, Daddy? The banana or the kitten? Come on, Dad. We said we wouldn't get sad yet. I'm sorry, sweetie. It's just my baby girl is moving out soon and won't be around for our midnight movies or our flower fights or our morning cocoa dates. I know, Dad, but it's not like I'm moving to Mars. Well, you might as well be. That golf school is 208.6 miles away. That's just a guess. It's not like I mapped it out or anything. Dad. But you're right. Let's keep our chins up and make the most of the hang time we have left. Hey, Clyde. Hi, Mr. McBride. Hi, Mr. McBride. Hi, Lincoln. Ready for your big night? You bet. Great. Just a couple things Clyde will need. Sleeping bag, feet suit pajamas, white noise machine, humidifier, dehumidifier, earplugs, inhaler, and allergy medication. Here are all the numbers where you can reach us if our cell phones fail. Restaurant, movie theater, coffee shop, gas station. In case we have to pee. Hmm, good idea. And here's a photo of us. Since we can't tuck you in tonight. Remember, Clyde, no nuts, no gluten, no sugar, and be careful with orange juice. You know how you get with pulp. He's growing up so fast. Come on, Howie. Remember what Dr. Lopez said about letting go. Now let go. I love him so much. Have fun, Clyde. So, what do we got? I found a drawer of olives. This spoon still has a little mustard on it. And I've got some chopped up sports bars. And I've got some jams. Ooh, where? Oh, those kind of jams. Olives, pepper, baking pan, other half of baking pan, tape, stat man, stat! What are you making, Dad? I'm not really sure, but let's just call it Casa Loud Casserole. Ooh, I have the perfect outfit for that! Honey, that was delicious. Yummy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good! Thank you. 
I think you kids were right. It's time I started mixing up the menu. Really? Yep. In fact, I'm going to the store right now to get some new ingredients. Yeah! Oops. <laughs> Forgot to put the brake pads back on. Okay. Gotta tell Lucy her funeral dress is back from the cleaners. Gotta let Luna know I can drive her to rehearsal tonight. I need to remind Lola that she can't watch TV till she's finished her homework. All of it. Oh, hi, Lori. Oh, one sec, Dad. Oh, sweetie, we just talked about this. Can you please put that thing away? Okay, Lucy says thanks just in time for the service. Luna says rock in, and Lola sent this. You just took care of my whole to-do list? How did you manage that? It's called texting. You can literally have a million conversations at once. Could be pretty handy for a guy with 11 kids. Uh, hold on. If I were going to do a text, how, how would I go about that? It's so easy. All you do is type. Where's your phone? Try texting me. Uh, where? Here. Just say hi. Oh, delete. Dear Lori, I hope this text message finds you well. Sorry, Dad, but TLDR, that means too long didn't read. And it's the kind of a breathe that makes texting so much fun. Oh, let me try. S-G-H-I-C-W-T-L-M. That stands for sounds good, honey. I can't wait to learn more. Uh, we'll work on it. Wanted a family vacation? Just to get out of town. Had it all planned, packed up the van, ended up in a ditch. Somehow we got the blues, baby. Those road-tripping blues. Bad, bad news. You see, smell weird, the baby is crying. She's probably mad we left her behind. Road, road-tripping blues. La, la, la. AC broken, Vanzilla. The windows won't roll down. The bean chips of doom. They spread noxious fumes. Can't breathe. I think Mom passed out. We got the blues, baby. Those road-tripping blues. Bad, bad news. The dog ran off. The baby said we left her behind. At least we didn't forget her this time. Road, road-tripping blues. La, la, la. Are you busy? Well, I just happened to come across these matching princess dresses at the mall, and I thought... <gasps> That's my color! Of course, powder pink! But wait, there's more. <gasps> Stick on earrings! <laughs> Yay! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the Goosemans got into it with the postal worker? No way. Tell me more. Okay, so apparently one of their packages showed up wet and they just lost Ooh. it. Be careful, the floor is lava. <gasps> I'm burning! <gasps> you saved me! I forgot, there's snakes on the couch! <gasps> <gasps> Now block. Mm. Wow, this is my color. Told you so, ruby red. <laughs> wow, a nine? Oh, oopsie, sorry, that was a six. You up for one more episode of Prison Pageant Wars? Obviously! We have to find out what talent little juice goes with! Hi, fellas. Come on in. Hi, Mr. McBride. Hi, Mr. McBride. Ooh, nice structure, Lincoln. Ready to get to work? You mean like now? <laughs> of course. 
Oh, hang on, Lincoln. You have a loose button on your shirt. Oh, well, I, uh... <laughs> no worries. Thanks, Mr. McBride. Great good heavens! It looks like the sole of your shoe is about to fall off. Oh, that's just... No worries. I'll just give it a little tapity tap Wow, you're not gonna just use a stapler on that? Hold up, Lincoln. Your sideburns are uneven. I know. Usually I just tilt my head. No worries. Perfect. Hot towel? Sorry, dinner's nothing fancy. Just roasted organic chicken with a homemade marinade. And vegetables from our garden. Help yourself, Lincoln. There's no foil to peel back? <laughs> foil. LOL. That's a hot one, Lincoln. Clyde, how was your day? It was great. I lasted 37 seconds in dodgeball. Did you hear that, Hair Bear? 37 seconds. Good job, son. And Lincoln, how was your day? <clears throat> what? Me? You want to know how my day was? Now? Psst, sorry. You know the rules, Dad. No phones at the dinner table. Seriously? What about amps or pitching machines or toilet snakes? <laughs> You're so funny, Lincoln. Here, have seconds. Oh, I thought I turned this off. Oops, I'll get it. Dad, no phones. Besides, we don't even have internet. Sorry, I just wanted to hold it. Oops, you did it again. No looking at devices, Dad. Not even Mr. Grouse's. But he just got a really good deal on socks. Job, Dad. We're proud of you. Oh, thanks, kids. It's good to be back. Now, who's hungry? Dinner in five! So now that we've cured Father, shall I send word to our internet provider to get the rest of us back online? Eh, uh, what's the rush? We can wait another day. Let's dig in! Hey, Dad! How about a hockey rematch after dinner? Hey! Thank you, Daddy And the pig and the goat lived happily ever after. The end! your uncle, Frouse isn't ah. your father, Pip Pip. Ba -da 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 and boom, there, all clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! <laughs> I landed on some jacks, but totally worth it. Here you go, honey. Daddy's homemade peach puree. Yay! So, just to review, I'm Daddy. This is my peach puree, and I made it just for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If you like it now, wait till I put sprinkles on it. Sure, they're bad for her teeth, but I'm waging a war here. Uh, Lily? Dada, dada. Dang it! Here we go. Matching chef hats. You gotta look good to cook good. Hey, what about me? Okay. Uh huh. Huh huh. <gasps> there you go. <sighs> now, let's see that syllabus. Ah, yes. First assignment, eggs. The versatile rock star of the food world. You can boil them, poach them, fry them, sure them, quiche them, scotch them, benedict them. <sighs> and always remember, it's okay to yoke around in the kitchen. Ba -da -da -da. No, I don't! <sighs> <laughs> there it is. I knew I'd get you to crack a smile. <laughs> go ahead. Give it a fry. So, how'd I do? <gasps> I've always wondered how I'd look an egg. It's just, it's just more beautiful than I ever imagined. <gasps> Bad Charles, stop eating my face! Let's ramp this up. Quickly, everybody, get on. There's only one way down. You're just gonna have to trust me. Hurry! Hold on to your butts. Way ahead of you. Since this is the end, 
there's something I need to tell you. I've never liked your beef burger, yon. I don't go to the gym when I say I do. I go to the donut shop. Ah! A parachute. Uh, good thinking, Clyde. I got the idea from you. Honey, we owe you an apology. You obviously can take care of yourself. Well, it's all because of you guys. You taught me to always be prepared. From now on, we promise not to be so overprotective. And this time, we mean it. Thanks. I'm lucky to have dads like you. I'll give them a little privacy. Get in here, Lincoln. Hugs! Come on, let's head back to the cabin for some actual hot cocoa. Really? Well, hot-ish. Come on, Dad, hurry! Here comes the water. Move to the left. Lincoln! You said to the left. I meant my left. How was I supposed to know that? You need to communicate. Well, if you think you can do better, you get the water. What's the point? The Stankos are already on their third bucket. We may as well just give up. Fine by me. Clearly, Legends isn't our thing anyway. Maybe we don't have a thing. Maybe. And the Silver Snakes win again. Yeah! <laughs> nice teamwork, loser. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry too, buddy. That got way out of hand. I just want us to have a thing together. Me too, son. Hey, maybe Legends can still be our thing. The show isn't over yet. What do you say we ignore those jerks and finish it our way? Slap me some tail! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Dang it! What's going on, kids? Get in! We're driving you to work! Uh, okay. But there's something I have to tell you. I have a new job now. Yes, you do! Oh, dang it! Wait, this isn't the Aloha Comrade. We know! Say hello to your new office! We felt bad about getting you fired from your old IT job, so we got you a new one. Uh, guys, you didn't get me fired from my old job. I quit! Why? So you could wash icky dishes? Mm, not exactly. I'm training to become a chef. My dream job! And washing dishes is how you start. I didn't want to tell you guys until I passed my training period. Oh. It's the colonoscopy all over again. It, it's okay, kids. You meant well. And now that you know, you can just take me back to the restaurant. Uh, we kind of already quit for you. You listen to me, bub! No one makes my daddy wash dishes! He's done with your stinky job and your stinky restaurant and another thing! Oh, dear. Don't worry, Dad. We'll talk your boss into rehiring you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Budget, Lori! Wait! <laughs> oh, that was hot! <laughs> oh, no! This is my last clean plate. Sir, please give our dad his job back. This was all a misunderstanding. What is there to misunderstanding? First, I get the rudest call of my life. Then I have no one to help with the breakfast rush. So my answer is, yet. Yay! Yet means no. Aww. Please don't punish our dad. This was our fault. Yeah, we're always messing up. All we do is make his life worse. Whoa, whoa, kids, what are you talking about? You make my life better every day. This is just a job. Don't worry, I can find another one. I can't say yet to a man with such a nice family. You got your job back. Yay! Clyde, honey, we have something to tell you. I already know what it is. We're having a baby, and I'm going to be a big brother. And it's going to be great, because Lincoln taught me the three C's, and I can't wait to start baking cookies, and... Clyde, you're spiraling. And did you say baby? Yeah. I saw the bottles and the clothes, and I heard you guys talking. I'm afraid there's been a bit of a mix-up. Your dad and I haven't been preparing for a baby. We've been preparing for... A cousin! Meet Cleopatra's sister, Nepertiti. We finally got to bring her home from the shelter today. Wow, she's perfect. And just so you guys know, if you ever do decide to have another human child, I'm totally ready for it. Family? I'm sorry. You were right. Who wants to get Vanzilla back? We don't have our booties. No, oh, I don't care anymore. Just get your beautiful muddy feet in here. Yay! Hi, 
I want to return this van. It just didn't work out. All right, sir. And now I'd like to buy back my old van. No can do. Just sold it for scrap to the junkyard. <gasps> to take this car out for a test drive right now. Dad, I think Steve may have had enough test driving for one day. Are you kidding? This was amazing! My nail beds have literally never looked this good. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm in. I want to buy this van! Seriously? This hunk of junk? She's not a hunk of junk. She's family. Hey there, loud. Took my gout pills. I'm ready to eat. Here's your sweater back. Didn't have time to wash it. Didn't feel like it either. Okay. Lily, say hi to... Dada! Yes, I know you think Mr. Grouse is... Dada! Dada! Wait, me? I, I, I don't understand. What's happening? Honey, I get what's going on. Mr. Grouse was wearing your favorite sweater. That's why Lily was calling him Dada. <gasps> Holy smokes, you're right. Oh, 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 what a relief. You hear that, Mr. Grouse? She knows I'm her dad. Isn't that wonderful? Cool, cool. You got any pepper flakes? Okay. Have a good nap. Ah, <sighs> Problem solved. Hey. hey, Dad, I thought we were going to work out together. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry, LJ. I must have spaced it. I, I, I don't know how that happened. But, but I'm free now. Let me just change out of this. Eh, never mind. I'm just going to hit the showers. Oh, oh, okay. Ding, ding, darn it. Now Lynn's feelings are hurt. Don't panic. You can fix this. Uh, LJ, wait! Whoa! <laughs> 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 That's what I get for running in heels. Walk it off, Dad. Slow down, honey. I'm trying to keep up here. 57! Tapioca! Charles! Hunt, hunt, hunt! <laughs> we did it! Yeah. We did it! All right, all right, all right! Huh? In prophase, the nuclear envelope breaks down as spindle fibers emerge from the sen sen sen. Sound it out. Centrosomes. Ow! Oh. <laughs> it's funny how that hurt. Uh huh. Woohoo! <laughs> And this was your great 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 grandfather Linwood Loud. He was the first Loud with flat feet. Ba ba ba! Way to go, Daddy O! Now my kids know I don't play favorites. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mom and Dad, I'm sorry. Things got a little out of hand. Please don't be mad. <laughs> 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 We're not mad. We're thrilled. Honey, this is the kind of party a 17-year-old should have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. I got another pair of undies. Time for an encore performance. <clears throat> I told him that. <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> There's no escaping me. <laughs> <laughs> nice 
job, orange iguanas. A few goofs, but I think we did pretty well. Yeah, who knows? We might actually win. Up next, the silver snakes. And go. <laughs> Boom, pepper on. Wow, that's a course record. Sorry, orange iguanas, but the silver snakes win the competition. I didn't even see them start. Ah, who cares if they won? We just ran Olmec's temple together. No one can take that away from us. Dads, wait! I don't want you to go to Brazil! Clyde, What's what is on? it? I only asked if we could host Tiago because I wanted a little freedom. But I never wanted you guys to forget about me. I love you, and I need you, and I miss spending time with you. Clyde, there's been a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> we aren't going to Brazil. Tiago is. All that dance practice we did paid off. T got accepted into Samba school in Rio. Class starts tomorrow, so he had to take the first flight out. But your suitcases were gone. <laughs> well, someone liked Flippy so much that we decided to send him back with a few suitcases full. Dad and I would never forget about you. We were just trying to give you more space. It seemed like that's what you wanted. You mean you could tell? <laughs> And you may have had less freedom than you thought. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. <gasps> you mean you were watching me the whole time? Thank you. I love you. We oh, love, we you, love too. you too. <laughs> Let's go, Father Chop Chop. These candy bags won't fill themselves. Oh, I am working on a prototype which will do exactly that. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, kids. I can't go. I think I have the flu. Or the plague, or a Charlie horse. Uh, we go through this every year! Woo! I don't wanna, I don't wanna! Your dad's doing better this year. Candy! 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 Hey, where are you two going? Nowhere. We... Uh, just decided to go through the neighborhood counterclockwise this year. Seems like an odd, pointless choice, much like your costumes. Have fun, boys! Ah, spider web! It's a loose thread on your shirt! Well, I guess I can't trick or treat if my shirt's falling apart, right? Nice try! <laughs> so, you're all bailing on me? Fine. Well, there's no point in going solo, so I guess I'll just miss the most important game of my life. Oh, wait. I'll go with you, LJ. Ah! So the Lincoln and Luann. Oh, man. Why us? I like hokey, not hockey. Because you're good siblings, and you're the closest. I'll buy you funnel cake. We each get our own funnel cake. And one of those big foam fingers. My prop game needs some refreshing. Deal. Wow! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Rise and shine, Link. It's 4 a.m. You don't want to be late for your first day at your new school. Dad, I can't. It's too early. Yes, you can, Ada. Uh, uh. ah! <gasps> Good luck, kiddo. Wait, your passport and your breakfast. <laughs> okay, Howie, ready to let go? <sighs> ready as I'll ever be. Man, we are fantastic parents. Pilot to co-pilot. We are ready for lunch. Now the fun really, really begins. I'll sled to that. All right! Faster! Faster! That was awesome! Let's go again! <laughs> Looks like we're getting the hang of not being so overprotective, huh, Howie? Howie? I'll get the smelling salts.